Hi, this is Nancy Bergen reporting for Bass City Beat, and I'm here at Lake St. Clair Metro Park, where a project is underway to restore the wetlands to their natural state. We've been hired by Macomb County here on Clinton Metro Parks as well as the Clinton River Watershed to help restore the wetlands here at Lake St. Clair Metro Parks. The wetland has been impacted by human activities over the last hundred years or so, including some dredging, some filling, some hydrological manipulation, which has caused to uh, cause degradation of the system. So we are going to be working to restore the hydrology, bring back some of the habitat, which hopefully will encourage the um, animal diversity to come back, as well as the plant diversity. The wetlands at Lake St. Clair Metro Park represent one of the last opportunities to restore coastal wetlands on a landscape scale in a highly urbanized region of the Great Lakes. The Great Lakes Restoration Initiative provided approximately $1.5 million to restore this gem along the coastal area of Lake St. Clair. This project entails the restoration of nearly 500 acres of coastal wetland which are currently part of the HCMA Lake St. Clair Metro Park in Harrison Township. We're going to be building on some of the activities that the Metro Parks has already started with um, aerial spraying, herbicide spraying of the Phragmites, as well as fire treatment. Along with, with continuing those operations, we are hoping to restore some of the original hydrology of the park bringing in some water control structures so that we can flood and drain the wetlands to help encourage other plant species to grow. What we did is first uh, to get rid of the, the Phragmites was um, a spray it with an herbicide that's safe. We have to have all the uh, permits and things that they do that and when we hit it where it was the thickest but we didn't hit spots that had cattails so uh, that kills that plant in that area and then allows the cattails to move back in. One thing you need to do though is burn out and get rid of a lot of the old dead stuff so it opens up the soil to light and uh, doesn't get all um, piled up there so by burning that was one way to do it plus recycling some nutrients into the soil there. This graphic shows you all of the activities that we have planned here for the summer of 2012 at Lake St. Clair Metro Park. The project boundaries are here in red and this outlines all of the different areas that we're going to be working in. We're going to be putting tur nesting structures in the Black Creek Marsh, which is the marsh north of Metropolitan Parkway. All of our other activities will take place south of Metropolitan Parkway. We've already continued to attack invasive species removal last fall with some aerial spraying. And then this summer we're going to be placing um, culverts and water control structures here along the maintenance road within Point Rosa Marsh to help uh, connect the marsh to Lake St. Clair. We will also be building a boardwalk through Point Rosa Marsh so that we can build on the path system that the Metro Parks already has in place and get people into the marsh and also into a place where they can view Point Rosa Marsh and Lake St. Clair with our new overlook path as well as some over uh, some shoreline restoration here right along the, the beach of Lake St. Clair. Working here, like I say, for uh, 22 years now, um, starting out, it's, it's kind of hard to show people or explain what we were seeing 20 years ago in the marsh and saw how it degraded there. And so what I think probably the most exciting one right now has been the, um, uh, the one we're working on to restore, get more water back in there. There was a lot of big open water areas that right now are dried up and you don't ever see water in there. So I think to me that will be um, a big change and kind of get us back to what we were seeing, you know, 25, 30 years ago. So um, I think that one, and that's something people have been talking about for years, you know, what we can do to restore the marsh, how we can get more water back in there, uh, keeping the water in, um, and that just helps all the wildlife habitat as well. So make sure you stop by and enjoy this beautiful park and do your part to keep our waterways clean. For Bass City Beat, I'm Nancy Bergeron.